Okay, let's make a context-free grammar for this language, L2, which is the set of strings of the form 0 to the n, 1 to the m, where n and m are at least 0. So one thing that you should be aware of when making a context-free grammar for a language that's given to you is, what are the relationships between the counts here? So the count n here is relating the number of zeros, well it is the number of zeros, and m is the number of ones here. And note that there's no correspondence between the n and m parameters. They don't have to be the same or different or anything. They're just independent numbers. And so therefore, we can treat them completely separately. So every string in this language always has some number of zeros at the start and then some number of ones at the end. And so therefore, we can actually write a regular expression for this. We can just say that it's zero star, one star because it's just some number of zeros, any number that we want, because there's no restriction there other than being at least zero, and then followed by some number one. So we can make a regex for this. But what we're after is a context for grammar. So every context for grammar needs a start variable. So let's make a start variable right here. And then what we want is that we need to generate some number of zeros, and then once we're done generating the zeros, whatever that means, we need to be able to generate some more ones. So one thing that we can do is, let's just make a bunch of zeros right here by having a zero followed by s, which says you can add zeros on the front as needed, and then at some point later we need to switch over to ones. But it'd be an incorrect idea to do this because if we have this right here where s is the start variable again, what can happen is that we can interchange these two rules. So therefore, we could apply this rule, then this rule, then this one, and then just go back and forth as any way that we want. And this is a bad idea. So what we want to do is to go to some other place where we can't access this rule anymore and then generate the ones there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a variable called p. So p is a completely new variable where I can now make the ones here. So just like with the s variable, where it can make zeros, I can make ones here. And there's no relationship other than the ones being after the zeros. And now, once I'm done generating the ones, well, there's nothing after the set of ones here, and I can do this as many times as I like, so I need to be able to stop by making the variable go away. And so if we look at a particular example, so let's consider the string, say, two zeros and a single one then a derivation will be s goes to 0s, so I replace this s with 0s, which is this rule. Then I'm going to replace this s with another application of the same rule, so I get 0s. Zero, zero, then now I'm done generating the zeros, I need to switch over to the ones, so I'm going to now replace this s with p, so applying this rule this time. So 0, 0, p, looks like object-oriented programming. Then now I need to generate a 1, which is applying this rule, p goes to 1, p. So 0, 0, 1, p. And then now I need this rule here because every rule in the grammar otherwise always has a variable attached to it. And we need to make a string with no variables at all, only terminals, because that's what the language of a context-free grammar is. And so now I'm going to apply this rule right here by making p go away, in other words, changing it to be the empty string, which is exactly what this is. And so therefore, this is a context-free grammar for this language, which is the regex corresponding to 0 star, 1 star.